Hi, this is Kamil here, and uh, in this video I'd like to tell you something that I've I wanted to tell you for a long time. I, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, I, this is a series of videos about how you can instantly empower yourself through changing your language or changing the vocabulary they use, the, the, the grammatical structures. Because, you know, language is very powerful if you haven't heard uh, about this before. I'm sure you have. Like, have you heard about NLP? Rings a bell? Yeah, so NLP is uh, the study of... Actually, well, the name, official name is Neuro Linguistic Programming. So it's the study how we can change our neural patterns through the use of uh, the language. And as, as you know, uh, people can uh, manipulate other people into doing things. So through NLP, you can increase sales, you can be more convincing, and uh, you can achieve lots of other things. Now, how can you actually use the language to your power? Uh, just simply by observing how you speak, and uh, changing the way you speak. I'll give you some uh, tips, but before that I will uh, actually show you some examples of uh, how powerful the language really is. Uh, so, for example, some people say that language, uh, sorry, the words can kill. And they really can. How, how you do that? How do you kill people with words? That's very simple. You know, the judge can say, I condemn you to death, or I sentence you to, the, to death, and, you know, and the person will be executed. Uh, you might argue, yeah, but he's got the power. Okay, how about this? Uh, let's take an example from uh, Middle Ages, I think. I I'm not sure exactly when it originated. Uh, we have this uh, Catholic Church, and they say, uh, guys, we have a problem. We have more and more enemies. You know, we are losing money because uh, this is happening, this is happening. You know, we cannot uh, call those people devils anymore because people don't buy it anymore. So we need to do something about this. Okay. Let's invent another word, another enemy. Uh, well, what will it be? Okay, let's call them heretics. And uh, we will tell people, you know, that they are really bad. Okay, sounds good, yeah? So, wh what are they? What are the heretics? Well, it, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but we will call them heretics and we will tell people that they are really bad. So, they go to people and say, uh, Listen, guys, we have some new enemies of the church and of God. They are called, they are heretics. We need to find them and kill them. Oh, really? Heretics? Who are they? Mm, very bad people. They do blasphemy. Blasphemy? What is it? Well, this is something that, that is very bad and it's against God. Okay. And, and th that's how it happens. So then, uh, you know, some enemies, enemies of the Catholic Church come and the church says, Oh, that's the heretic. These are the heretics. And people, yeah, these are the heretics. Yeah, we need to kill them. And, and you know, people get killed through the use of language. Before, the concept of a heretic didn't exist. And, and really, because what, who is a heretic, you know? Just someone who says their opinion and somebody else doesn't like that opinion, yeah? Nothing else. The same, what is a blasphemy? You know, it's just saying a few words uh, that other people don't like. Basically, that's it. But because we put, give it a name and then associate a very negative meaning with the name, suddenly this person becomes really bad in our eyes, of course, yeah? Because in reality, this person is still who who he or she is. Uh, okay, how, uh, any other examples of how words can kill? Well, words can kill, kill millions. Imagine you have a government and the government thinks, okay, uh, we need some more money, you know. Um, well, what can we do? Let's have a war with this country, with our neighbor. They have lots of money, so let's have a war with them. Okay, but how do we, you know, persuade people, you know, to, to go into war? Well, um, I don't know, let's think of something. Okay, let's come up with, with an idea and promote it. Let's use propaganda. Okay, so let's, uh, let us invent another concept. Okay, maybe, how about patriotism and being a patriot? Okay, sounds good, what is it? Well, a patriot is someone who loves his country. And if you are not a patriot, you're really bad. Okay, come, let's, let's, let's roll it, yeah? And, and they start this campaign and they say, Guys, you need, your country needs you, you need to be a patriot, you know. Let's teach in schools that patriotism is really important and it's really cool to be a patriot and really uncool not to be one. So, um, this is how it is spread and, and then the, they want war and they say, Oh, we need, you need to be a patriot. Wow, you're not a patriot? Come on, how can you be? And you know, millions of people, or thousands at least, thousands of people go into war on the false pretense of patriotism which has nothing to do with reality, just someone has, has their own agenda and he enrolls others in, into his or her agenda and, and, you know, thousands of people get killed. So, as you can see, language is really powerful. 
and that happens everywhere. We have so much research done uh, that shows that not only the words you use, but the language you speak. So if you speak English, uh, you see world in a different way than someone who speaks French or Cantonese. So the more languages you speak, uh, the different the world is. So I encourage you also to study other languages so you can discover new ways uh, of looking at things. So if you experience something, if you feel something, and you cannot put a word into it, you kind of do not really distinguish it. It melts with other things and your brain generalizes this and spreads the idea around. But if you discover the dis distinction and give it a name, the distinc dis distinction stays actually. And, and then you have a different concept. And before that you have uh, you know, something unclear and you forget about this. So language is really, really powerful. Um, in my next videos I, I will tell you, give you some uh, real life examples, simple things that you can use to empower yourself every day. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.